2024, the last year without GTA 6, is still gonna have a lot to do with GTA 6. The trailer we got in December of 2023 was only one of multiple different reveals we're gonna have of the game, and 2024 is gonna consist of a continuation of reveal trailers like trailer 2 of the game, and the online reveal, and some gameplay reveal. There's a lot to look forward to, so in this video, I'm gonna predict when exactly we're gonna be getting each reveal. Keep in mind, this is only a prediction and none of this is confirmed, so we're just gonna try our best to guess the different release dates of this year. So because this is so unpredictable, we're gonna have two different time windows we're gonna go over in this video. One is gonna be the early release prediction and the other is gonna be the later release prediction. So as we said, we got trailer one in December of 2023 and that trailer focused mainly on Lucia. It showcased a bit of info about her, like she has a prison record, and in the artwork that was shown, we also saw an ankle monitor on Lucia, and it didn't showcase a whole lot of Jason, who is the other protagonist, so we are expecting to see Jason, or at least a lot more of Jason, in trailer 2 of the game. Trailer 1 was focused a lot on Lucia, so it would make sense that trailer 2 would be more focused on Jason this time. We didn't really see any of Jason besides him robbing a grocery store with Lucia, and then a clip of him on the couch of what looks to be a motel or like an apartment of some sort, and also him driving a car while running away from the police. Therefore, my early prediction for the release of trailer 2 of the game is April of 2024. And along with showing more of the side of Jason, it's also gonna give more of an overview of the map and different little features. Jason does seem like a bit of a redneck that grew up more in the countryside, so they're probably gonna show more of the outskirts of the map. And trailer 1 Rockstar mostly shows showed the city parts, so showing more of the outskirts, which is gonna be the majority of the map, would be pretty cool. Now, Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two, has their quarterly earnings call set to February, so that's the scheduled earnings call, and why that could matter is because their last earnings call was about a month before trailer 1 in December, and they actually announced the GTA 6 trailer just after that earnings call in November, so if they keep up with the same pattern of their earnings calls being about a month before each trailer, that would mean that the trailer could possibly come out in March. I personally think that's a little too optimistic. That's why I went for April instead, which is still pretty early. I mean, I think having a four month gap between each trailer does make some sense. Their last earnings call in November was exactly on November 8th. Now, what also happened on November 8th, you ask? The same exact day, and this is no coincidence, they actually announced that the GTA 6 trailer is gonna be coming next month in December. So these quarterly calls by Take Two actually have some significance for the release of Rockstar related things. Their next earnings call is scheduled for February 6th. We might or might not get something on that day, but for people that are optimistic that trailer 2 is right around the corner, spring 2024 is probably going to be the ballpark you're looking at. Then for trailer 3, which could honestly consist of so many different things, it could either show more of the map, it could show the side characters, like all the friends and contacts your characters have. So for example, in GTA 5, we have Simeon, we have have Lamar, we have Gerald. In trailer 3, they could possibly showcase all of those characters, or something completely new and unexpected that we still don't know that's going to be in the game, such as the world events that are going to be affecting the map. So, for example, hurricanes might be a thing, and with future DLCs in the game, the map is going to be changing, and it would be pretty cool to have just like a giant natural disaster, and then a part of the map changes completely. Kind of like what Epic Games does with the Fortnite map, but for GTA. So they can make a whole trailer just about the world events that are going to be happening and they can make it look super cinematic with a giant scary hurricane just hitting the streets and the suburbs of Leonida. I can imagine a very movie like themed trailer with all the NPCs running away in fear. For trailer 3 my prediction is for it to come out once again with a pattern of 4 months between each trailer. It's going to be coming in August of 2024. That's what I think. Just after a GTA 5 summer DLC could be pretty fitting. After a trailer 3 drops then we get a gameplay reveal. This one is going to be a bit different than the regular trailers. It's actually going to show gameplay of the game with different features, like possibly a third person view of us driving a car and also a first person view. In the big development leak that we got, we saw one of the clips be the interior of a car and it looks super detailed. So in the first person view, we're going to get a super realistic looking car, much more detailed and much cooler than the cars we have in GTA 5. That's for sure. After trailer 3 drops in August, now we're on to the final set of reveals about the game. In GTA 5, they actually released the GTA Online trailer before the fourth and final big official trailer of GTA 5, or GTA Story.
story mode I should say so I think they're gonna continue with that pattern the online trailer is gonna be revealed in November and then the big official trailer the fourth trailer you can say of GTA 6 story mode would be in December of 2024 so we're gonna get back-to-back -back months of trailers one for GTA 6 online the other is for GTA 6 finally the release of GTA 6 which is gonna consist of only story mode at first I predict to be in March of 2025 and then the online will actually be added just a month later in April of 2025 that is the early window prediction now for the later window and just for reference GTA 4 was released in the month of April and GTA 5 was released in the month of September so it's not like they have a real set month for releasing their GTA games plus GTA 6 could really release in any month and still do insane because it's such a big game and everybody's waiting for it so if I'm Rockstar I'm not waiting until the holiday season to release this thing at least I hope not moving into the late release window I predict trailer 2 could come out in September of 2024 then trailer 3 would be pushed to December of 2024 so it's not really a consistent pattern like there's no four months in between each trailer but I feel like if it is going to be delayed then the releases are not going to be very consistent the online trailer would be in July of 2025 then the fourth and final official GTA 6 story mode trailer would be in August and finally the late reveal or the late release of the game sorry would be in September of 2025 so for the early release I think it's going to be March for the late one I say September and then after GTA 6 story mode releases in September one month later just like with the early release pattern GTA 6 online would be added in October just a little later by the way these are only for Xbox and PlayStation because PC is just usually left in the dust and it only releases a good amount of time after the consoles that's what happened with GTA 5 and it's probably going to be happening again so if you're looking to play GTA 6 on PC it's not going to be coming out for a while after likely not even in 2025 if we take a look at all of the different little reveals before GTA 5 came out this website consists of them and looking at the GTA 5 reveal pattern could indicate what we could get for GTA 6 it isn't going to be exactly the same as GTA 5 but it could give us a good idea basically the first official trailer was in November of 2011 then in July of 2012 Rockstar just started releasing a bunch of screenshots they released the two first official GTA 5 screenshots in July and then in August in October they released this screenshot which turned out to be one of the most popular and iconic GTA 5 screenshots out there and speaking of iconic in the same month of October they revealed the GTA 5 model if you want to call her that across the span of over a year they released I believe like 50 to 100 screenshots of the game another big one was them revealing the game cover art that one was in April of 2013 the trio of protagonists was also revealed in April of 2013 so it's a bit different with GTA 6 because they already revealed Jason and Lucia in trailer 1 the gameplay trailer was released in July of 2013 the online trailer in August of 2013 and finally the game actually came out in September of 2013 just about two weeks after the story mode release of GTA 5 in September in October in early October they released the online version and that's what everyone's expecting them to do with GTA 6 besides these notable trailer dates once again there's going to be screenshots released probably more and more teases inside of GTA 5 online that we're going to be getting with different updates there's a lot to look forward to so let me know your prediction when you think each trailer is going to be releasing and ultimately the release of the game itself drop a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new with the bell on so you never miss any more awesome videos like these you do not want to miss some click the video on screen now for everything that we know about GTA 6 so far I hope you all enjoy that video and peace.